Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is the part three of the procedurally generated terrain of Voxel plugin. By the way, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you find this video useful, press the thumbs up button. Let's begin. So this is where we left off in part two, right? So we created um uh, uh we created two noise uh, with derivatives. Then uh, based on the height, we give it different color, right? We have uh, water, blue. Then you have grass. We have rock. So, so this is this is how it looks. See the trees, and if you find the rocks, uh, you you should have the some of the rocks spawning here as well. So this is where we left to in part two. Um, and in this video, I'm gonna try to show you how to use the basics of how to use materials. I'm gonna use the same structure. I'm gonna use the same if and else logic, but instead of using setting colors, I'm gonna set material. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to reduce the size of this level. So I'm going to set it to like uh, 3000. If you go to details, if you select the voxel wall, then if you go to details, uh, wall size in voxel is a 3. So it's going to load faster. So I need like small areas so that I can work with. All I need is the water, sand, grass, and rock. That's all I need. So this is, this is good. This is going to load very fast. And I have rock as well, so I can work with pretty much all the things that I need. So that's the first thing to change. Then we're going to change this. This was important. Let's change RGB material config RGB to single index. Okay, and also it's gonna automatically select the tripler example collection. Let's look at how it looks. Um let me see if there's any other option. Uh, we have single color collection. Let's pick single color collection. We're gonna work with that. Um, we're gonna make changes to the single uh, single color collection. Uh, feel free to back it up. So if I go here, so this is the single color. You can back up the entire folder if you want. Um, but you know, I'm going to you know change some of these um, material functions. This is some of the layers I'm gonna change. So I'm gonna work with the uh, single color collection open and close the other ones all right so in the single color collection i have these are the layers i have so let's go to the layer zero i'm going to um make this mud this is the lowest so instead of color blue i'm going to use mud because so that you can put water on top of it um and uh, before i can do that i can only select color right so i guess like i have to modify if i go to single color material function like you know if you go here if you select this and then double click see it's as you see like it's using only color right i have a um, starter kit starter content there's some texture right let's see if i can't find mod maybe i can use clay Okay. let's start with clay all right um so okay now i'm going to right click and use uh, convert to parameter so this parameter name is going to texture and i can disconnect this three on the side i can also delete this i don't need it so connect the rgb to base i don't think i will have to do anything else okay now compile um now save it now let's close it now, if you go to layer zero, you should be able to assign texture to it. In texture, um, in the what? Okay, is this how it looks like? I just need a. Oh yeah, so this is not the final one. Let's pick something else. I need different texture, brown gravel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use ground gravel uh, and then just make it dark, I guess. So I'm going to duplicate this. And if I open this, I should be able to sorry, increase this. It's dark. I guess like I can do like point. I don't know how it's going to look like though. Let's try we use point one and replace this with that yeah i guess i can work with this so this is going to be underwater so all right let's 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 think this is a mud 
and then we have layer zero is so the base is much so layer zero we don't have to change anything also this is going to be shiny but i don't think we're going to work with that we can also make it um let's say convert to parameter this is roughness and let's save so in layer zero we should be able to roughness is going to be so this is underwater so it's going to be shiny right? like not super shiny but like this shiny. um okay yeah so let's say this is going to be underwater on top of it you're going to put water okay so we have layer zero done so in layers one we want this to be uh, sand let's see if i can find sand here so i'm going to make sand the way i made um mud so i can take the ground grass and make it lighter if that works so i'm going to duplicate this um and see if i can make it like two no oh, it's going to be darker let's make it two or let's let's do three all right so i don't have a lot of uh, option to pick texture but you can change it you know what i mean just you know put a um sand texture here all right so let's let's work with this um now if i go to um so i can close um pretty much all of this from here all of this so if i go to layer one and uh put put the um new structure so this one very much yellow um yeah we can change it later so it's going to be dry so we don't have to worry about the roughness uh, all right so we have mud we have sand then we're going to layer two is going, going to be grass so we have texture for grass so we don't have to worry about that um so if i go here and this is the ground grass let's pick that uh, i'm working with the starter content in case you didn't know the grass looks fine uh, then what else we have we have um that three is going to be rock open at three see if we can find any rock so let's work with rock slate let's pick this and it's going to go in layer three uh yeah i can yeah i mean like you know i can work with this all right so what's going to be rock then that's what we have right so we have mud sand grass rock and then you can add snow here but we don't have a snow i'm going to delete this um so now since we pick single let's do we have to do generate single and it's going to compile shaders you also going to click on generate double otherwise sometimes it gives you error even though you're not going to use it uh, but don't worry about generate triple it's going to take very long time um so you don't have to do that so let's do single and it's going to compile all right so after that we can close all the tests on the right and see it's going to serve this color since we choose single index so that what i'm going to do i'm going to delete this this is water right so we're going to replace this with mud um so it's going to be should set material and drag and i'm going to say make material from single index okay and get material collection index and i'm going to say um our texture and i'm going to connect this to here so here i'm going to choose layer layer zero i don't know how many layer i have i think i have a lot of layer and uh, so i can go to layer zero and simply select this and now i'm going to just copy this copy these three nodes place it here so this is going to be sand sand is layer one and um we can delete the uh, set color part so in here we have grass so let's drag this out need some space delete this 
paste it here this is going to be our grass this is layer two right so we're going to do the same thing to the rock portion of it um delete the set color part drag it out and paste it here two goes here that um change this to the last one all right so now let's save make sure everything is connected you know you shouldn't see any set color instead of just we just using this material um this should be good um save save your project uh, now uh, we're also going to change one more thing if you go to wall setting change the game mode to voxel simple game mode all right save again let's see if it works uh, let's change the speed to all right so yeah it worked so this is our uh, uh, the rock material um then we have grass we have sand and uh, okay this looks disgusting looks like seriously we can make it like lighter let's make it lighter but i'm not a designer so don't worry about this this 2.5 um and this one two uh, uh yeah so let's say this is mud this is going to be underwater you can change it to whatever you want um anyway so yeah so this is how you use materials right now we are using color let's if i drop into the world let's see if i can do that let's just see if i have a strap place it somewhere near the water And let's spawn here. There you go. My my player mesh is messed up. Um. So yeah. So this is going to be underwater. You're going to put uh you know water somewhere over here. Uh. The only thing we're not doing we're not blending. Maybe in the future video, but we did change the um the uh, RGB color with with textures. Now you see, you, put, you can put your texture. You can put you know you know different settings, roughness. A specular whatever you want to do also normal map as well uh, and this is the sand part right and this is the grass part and let's go to the rock area let's remove the um you can also drop in in here and zoom in and there you go so this is the rock part of your um, the rock material that we are using um, this is the simplest way I can think of of using materials so if you found this video useful uh, press the thumbs up button if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe until next time goodbye